YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Exactly, it's peanut butter jelly time, and this is where we just stop the show for a hot minute and have our peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a special guest. And that special guest is my favorite newsreader out of all of them. So thanks for coming in, Tina. So right. we've made you a peanut butter jelly sandwich, yeah. and we've also established that you've never had jelly on a peanut butter sandwich before. That's you know right. we're not allowed to eat in the studio, so we had to get special right, okay. permission. No, we had to get special permission to do this. <laughs> oh, Christ, a bit late for all that. <laughs> I know. Don't get jelly on the desk. Uh, no, the jelly normally gets on the desk. It's one of those things which happen in here. Hey, Westwood. <laughs> That's not bad, Zane. Hey, Westwood. That's something we don't know about you, Zane. You're a family guy. Uh, you, you know the truth. I'm not even into peanut butter and jelly, you know. <laughs> I'm getting in. I like to safeguard trust at all times, especially oh, when there's oh, peanut butter involved. Exactly. I mean, it's health, health, health and safety. I'm a little bit disappointed, could though. Choke. You, you've gone in on the smooth. Oh, What's that all about? We had complaints Yeah. when we were doing mic breaks, mm -hmm. eating the crunchy peanut butter. Oh. People were complaining it was sounding like a porno movie up in here. Yeah. What's the, where's the complaint? Uh, I mean, mean <laughs> I'd like, oh, this is really nice to work through. I'd like a cup of sand as well, just to wash this down with. This is real nice. Joining us today for the quality time together is not only my favourite newsreader, and one who brings a real star appeal to reading the news, and that glamour just, just that magic just comes through when those stories just come alive. Sometimes she's reading the news and I can just visualise these horrific things in the news. I can just see it because of the glamour she brings to it. So thank you very much, Brandis, for coming down. Now, why have you never experienced the peanut butter? Because the peanut, I'm not sure if that's for me, bro. I'm not sure. Now, what, what, you haven't got enough. First things first, we try to kill us. There's a security guard upstairs called yeah. Billy. We, he's got a, a nut allergy and we try to kill him one day. Yeah. <laughs> Billy is um, peanut allergic, not allergic, yeah. unfortunately. So... He just has jelly time with us at 5.30. <laughs> That's why I'm so uh, hyperactive. Because <laughs> it's, it's jelly time. But, you know, the grown men this side of the desk enjoy peanut butter jelly time together. Now, you haven't got a nut allergy. I feel like I have got a nut allergy, bro. Have you had nuts before? I, I, when I was young, uh, what's them KP, you know them ones And uh, what happened? Did, 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 did your th throat they, swell up? They sent me down the wrong path a bit, bro. Like, uh, like... I don't know. Peanut butter and jelly, I'm not into it. Sorry, my mouth is really sticky. <laughs> That's why you put jelly on peanut butter, but... The not thing, looking glamorous right now. I think you look very sexy. <laughs> I, I've so, never tasted it. I've just watched my mum eat it for 30 years. <laughs> well, Fabi, I used to know you when your name was... Um, Fitzroy. Yeah, that's right. And we are both all good. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that, but hey. Now, what you saying now, Westwood? Yeah, now, nah, geez, I come down here and I eat your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, geez, and now you're telling me straight up and you're trying to be all difficult with me, Westwood. What's up, Westwood? Oh, man, you're a good family hey, guy. Hey, you're good. Westwood. I have Westwood. no, I have Westwood. no Westwood. repertoire. Westwood. <laughs> <laughs> I first started DJing. I was actually a glass collector at a club called Gossips. And I was like, you know, a young kid in London growing up, um, working there, man. I, you know, I was just t turned 18 and hanging out in clubs, man. And the warm-up DJ to the Friday, Saturday night um, quit suddenly. Right. Um, what actually happened, I was begging to get on the set. I was begging. I said, I don't care if it's a gay night, let me get on the set. Let me just do what I've got to do. <laughs> so I got jumped on the set and I was the warm-up DJ. And this is where I met you. That's right. You know, part of my thing was always to try and, you know, get new guys in the game. You know, when I was holding down the Friday night, yeah. I brought Colin in as a DJ. Okay. <laughs> and I started Colin's career. No, for real. You know, you know have to, you have your, how you have to pass the baton. But not, no, but you not, started mine because you don't remember one night Colin couldn't make it and I come down and played. And that was please. the first time I was That was the first time I've ever DJed in a nightclub. And I was terrified. It was the most <laughs> horrifying experience ever. I was so nervous and you put, kind of put it on me a little bit. Because you was like, you know what, you better come down there and, like, smash up the place. And I think I did, actually. Wow. Can't you remember that? I can now. Yeah. Now that you said that, I remember. So I gave So you, you started me, started, started my career. I you and I started... I'll um, tell everybody that. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't know that. Now, Zane, mate, let me be really honest with you, dog. You really changed in the ratings for me personally. Watching you at one big weekend. I have never experienced you, DJ, and for you to go out and do what you do 
and tear it down. You put a, a guy like me under pressure, brother. That was the highest praise you ever given me. In fact, it's the only praise you ever given me. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to address the aggressive nature of DJs in a minute, but <laughs> you really go on and uh, uh, go in hard. Mm. And I've been to a lot of universities where you've played before, uh, and you know, legendary stories like girls and guys having imprints of the crash barrier on their legs for days afterwards because the crowd can't be was something to be proud of. But yeah, well, that's the crowd just going so mad to what you do in there. So how would you describe that man? Because I, I tried, to, I, I'm not going to front. I bit some of your set. Okay. I bet most of your style. <laughs> Address that then. Well, I don't think it would be stretching it too far to say that you were a major influence on me as a broadcaster. I used to brother? wash dishes in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. and, and my brother used to send me tapes of your radio show and I used to wash dishes and listen to your radio show, man, back in the day. And in what way do you mean that influenced you? Are you looking for a compliment? Beyond the I'm compliment? To be honest, I just... Would you like I'm me to just, write an no, 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 no. Let me just chill because I am actually fishing for compliments What's right up now. With this guy, I need to Billy? stop that. I need to stop I that. I tell now. him he's an influence. He's like, go into detail about how I've influenced <laughs> Sorry, you dog. You're absolutely yeah, Tim, you're um, just going to have to step off for a second, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.